Hi everyone, it's Amber Peterson with Southern Comfort Insurance. This month I wanted to bring a video to you and talk about short-term disability. I had someone from YouTube reach out to me in the comments and she asked if I could do a video uh, and specifically talk about pregnancy with short-term disability. So I'm gonna touch on that. Um, short-term disability is you would use that insurance when you're out of work due to an injury or an illness. So most people uh, think, you know, when they get injured, um, if you're at work, you would use workers' compensation if it caused you to be out of work for an extended period of time. Um, if you do not have, if you're not at work, you know, you're at home on the weekend and you hurt yourself and um, you don't have short-term disability, you're just going to be out your paycheck <laughs> because you cannot go to your boss and say, oh man, you know, I was on a four-wheeler this weekend and I had to go to the emergency room and I won't be able to work now for a little while. They're going to say, dang, I'm sorry, you know, that you hurt yourself, but I can't continue to pay your paycheck, most likely. So that's when you would use short-term disability. And um, with AFLAC, the one that I usually write is called a 07-day elimination period. And um, the terms that you can buy it for vary. You can do three months or six months, um, however long that you feel like you would need to be covered for in the event that you can't work. So most Americans, they don't even, you know, statistically, they don't even have $1,000 in their bank account saved for unexpected events like that. And especially if you're the breadwinner, if you're a married couple and you're the only one that works and your mortgage and your car payment and every single other bill relies on your paycheck um, and you, you know, if you end up ill and you're sick and you're in the hospital for weeks, several months, you know, what do you do? So you really need to look at getting disability on yourself. It's usually offered through your employer. Um, specifically AFLAC, we don't do individual short-term disability. You do have to get that through your employer being payroll deducted from your paycheck. Um, and it's based on your annual income, that your gross annual income would be, um, that's what you would receive back from AFLAC on a monthly basis. You, we would calculate it based on your gross annual income. So for pregnancies, if you're wanting to start a family or um, you know, trying to conceive, for women, please keep in mind that short-term disability, it states in the policy that it would not, you would not be covered until after the policy has been in place for 10 months. And um, what that means is, so I always tell people, what's the typical, you know, pregnancy term is technically 10 months because it's the end of the ninth month. So I tell women who are trying to conceive, don't even think about trying until you've enrolled in the policy. It's been in effect and you've waited at least two to three months to even start trying to conceive. Okay. And the reason for that is, uh, you know, pregnancies are unexpected. So you can get pregnant and um, have a healthy pregnancy and all of a sudden at the sixth or seventh month even give birth. And then, so if you didn't time that right, you're not going to have, you're going to be paying for this coverage that you can't use because now you're within that 10 month period. If you have a non cesarean delivery, you can be, you can use six weeks of your AFLAC minus your elimination period. That's what I talked about the zero seven. So that means zero days on an accident, seven days on an illness. So basically you get five weeks of pay. Um, and then if it is a cesarean, you get eight weeks. They give you a little bit more because typically it takes a little bit uh, longer to recover from that. So another common misconception is people think like that they want to take, you know, 12 weeks off of work and that's what they're buying their disability because they maybe their job gives them 12 weeks of maternity leave. So keep in mind that AFLAC, again, is only paying for you when you are physically injured or sick, not just to be at home with the baby. So if something were to go wrong and you needed, you know, maybe you had an epidural. I've had these cases before where they had an epidural and something was not right with their spine. The epidural, you know, something was wonky with it. So they had it, they actually couldn't go back to work. They were doing, you know, therapy and different things like that. So again, that's a medical reason why your doctor's saying you're gonna stay out longer than the given time from AFLAC, which is the six or eight weeks. So um, this video is a little bit longer, but so if you have more questions, call me directly or email me 520-508-9662. If you know anyone who is maybe planning to have a baby or conceive, um, let, let me know. I can see if they offer it at your account. If not, I can, I'm more than happy to talk to your HR payroll to try to get those policies put in place so that you're protected when you're going out on maternity leave. 
Um, or if you just, you work for someone and you want to be covered so that if you are not able to collect your paycheck, you still have an income coming in to be able to pay your bills. Um, again, it's Amber Peterson, Southern Comfort Insurance, honest, reliable, and consistent service that you can depend on. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.